would you say is your greatest success so far in, 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 in all the years that you've done this, or your greatest achievement? My greatest achievement is staying relevant for 40 years, which I would say is the same as Dawn, because we have both developed the ability to adapt to the marketplace, just as if you've been in business for years, you've also done. May I add some commentary, Nancy? Fripp and I met in the late 70s. She was transitioning into speaking, and I'd just been in it for a few years. And I've heard her speak probably a hundred times through all these years. She's never been better than today. I just want to say about your growth, even since I heard you speak a year ago, is extraordinary. What you talked about today is so important to us in sales, and I thought it was masterful. Thank you. We definitely want that on video. I didn't have a question, but I saw you at the Botanic Gardens a few years ago when you were here. And you said something at that time that I use today. Of course, I had some of the dunces with it if I have to make a presentation. I said what you're going to experience is, a, is an address which, has been, which, will be, which will be from Don. I got uh, content rich and from you, carefully constructed, artfully presented, and charismatically delivered. Oh, yes. <laughs> I, I take notes. <laughs> Amen. Good. Hey, Roby, repeat that. Those, those three statements. No, okay, no, from you, I got content rich from her. Carefully constructed, artfully presented, and charismatically delivered. Now, I own that now, guys. Yeah. That's great, Roby. Generalities are a menace to communication. Thank you. Yes. Meaningful specifics. Zig Ziglar taught us that years ago. No wandering generalities, meaningful specifics. Do you believe it's possible to build a speaking career in a boring subject like taxes? Yes. <laughs> It's, you can build a successful career on any subject that is if you, f you just find the audience that this is important for. Yeah. And the question that you might be asking, especially if you might be new or you're just being asking to step up. Uh, so anyone who is in customer service for example, are the best salespeople because you're, you're perceived as an expert, you're not perceived as a sales professional. So you are in the oppor your perfect opportunity to ask questions, build rapport, and make recommendations. And many people think, well, we have people who are not very good speakers. Is it possible? Yes, it is a practice developed skill. I certainly did not start with great talent. What I started with was an interest in and a commitment to learn to be good. So you learn from others who know more than you do. So if you have brand salespeople, brand new salespeople, they just need to learn from others who, are, who know more than they do and are doing better than they. Now, the problem with having a mentor or a sales manager, you learn their best habits and also their worst. Because I, when I've coached some speakers, and I know they've been mentored by various presenters or they've modeled themselves, they are doing what that speaker does well and all the bad habits. But it is speaking and I have a lot of executives I help and engineers, and many people say to me, oh, I'm a terrible speaker. So first of all, I say, stop saying that. Never say that again, because you do not want to program into yourself what you don't want. And I say, you have spent 30 years learning what you know. How can you expect to be a master in what you haven't put attention on? I spent nearly 40 years, as Don has and more, learning how to perfect your message. So you go to someone who knows, but it will be less difficult learning to be a great speaker than what you've had to learn to do. But how would you expect to be good if you're untrained, if you're not seasoned? Now, when I have worked with sales team, what I've often found is the person sitting at the table 
who has been at the company for years. They give great advice to everyone about the company and the background. I, I can't wait till he or she gets up. And they're not as good as the new people who don't know much and take their assignment so seriously. Because if you are seasoned and you look at new methodologies, just new ways of speaking, the longer you've been speaking that way, the more you have to undo. You have to unlearn the way you've been trained to just change some of these phrasings and examples. Patricia, you mentioned the word relevance earlier. And it's, all, it's an issue for us, obviously, because we want to keep coming up with new ideas and be content rich for you. But I want to submit that it's also important for you and your relevance. Are you using the same message today which was essentially used five years ago or three years ago? And if you are, you're working on your own obsolescence. So what can we do to get better today and say it more specifically with, with expertise and hone the edges on the message? All these things are real important. Uh, you mentioned market share earlier, Patricia. All of you are out there trying to get more market share customers business well you know what your customers are probably having a meeting today trying to figure out how they can get some of your business now their speakers aren't as good as yours so don't worry about it <laughs> but patricia's message today i thought was right on point we got time for maybe one more question if anybody's got one back here yes sir yes um i'm far from an educated man but uh working in the field not directly in sales, more indirectly, I find in locations far in the south, as in Arkansas and Mississippi, I often find I open more doors by lowering myself to them, as you said, in quotes, as opposed to rising above. Mm -hmm. uh, what do you have to say to that? Well, I would say you want to meet them where they are. Because for whatever you learn, you have to be appropriate for the situation. So, for example, there might be situations that you need a suit. You need to look the way you do. And the others, that that would not get the door open. It's a matter of being appropriate. So what I would say is you are connecting to them and communicating with them the way they want to be communicated with. Hey, one more yeah. time for Miss Patricia Fripp. What Thank a you. great morning we've had. <laughs>